Petrified, that's how one man says he felt after his COVID antibody test came back negative, even though he's been vaccinated. Now, while that test might indicate his body has not responded to the vaccine, health officials say the antibody test actually is not the most accurate way to determine immunity. Our Shannon Lilly explains. Robert Tapp has spent the last year living on edge. A lot of the doctors were telling me be really super careful because you are high risk. But after months of time spent here, isolating from the rest of the world. Because I was informed that if I got it, I would not be able to fight it off. Tapp got his Johnson & Johnson shot in March. What a relief. A relief, he says, up until last week. July 15th, the doctor did a blood test for the antibodies to make sure it was in my system. He called me and said there are no, no antibodies in your system. For TAP. Petrified. The news caught him off guard. We just don't go anywhere. I don't, I stay home. I need something to know that I'm safe. But health experts say in general, antibody testing isn't the way to do that. The CDC and the FDA are the strong position that we shouldn't even be using antibody testing in relation to vaccination. Dr. Stephen Richard is the medical director for the Richmond City and Enrico Health Districts. The science to antibody testing post-vaccination um, is murky. He says the antibody testing on the market now is to screen whether someone has had a prior COVID infection and is not CDC or FDA recommended to assess whether someone has been adequately vaccinated. Accuracy of the testing is unclear. So you shouldn't be relying on that to start with. He added that there are many different antibody tests and not all of them are the same. The, the problem is, is they could be a false negative test or they could be a false positive test. I can't step into the realm of individual doctors trying to make individual decisions for their patients. But there is no guidelines yet by the CDC or the FDA on on how to test those individuals. So you're sort of out in open water without um, clear guidance on how to handle the result. His advice in TAP situation? The provider talked to Johnson & Johnson directly and or a virologist or an immunologist about whether the antibody test they ordered actually was specific enough for the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. And Richard adds that the best way to protect yourself is still through vaccination. He says all three shots are effective and the data backs that up. In fact, the VDH reports just 0.0019% of Virginians who have been vaccinated against COVID-19 have been hospitalized with the virus.